Well, I lived in Port Townsend, Washington. I had a commercial diving company. And across the street, and I lived in a trailer park. <clears throat> across the street from me and two trailers down lived a young lady, really good looking lady. Uh, probably, I would say, in her mid-twenties. And uh, she had a little tiny poodle. I don't know what you call a miniature poodle, but he was only about a foot long and about six or eight inches high. Little bitty piece of shit. White. And she painted its toenails. And she had a little ribbon around its neck. And she curled some of the hair on its head and had little pink ribbons in its head. And it's, she called it Poopsy. That was the dog's name. Here, yeah, Poopsie. Well, Poopsie decided that a fun thing for her to do, if it was a her, was to run down in our garden. We had a huge, beautiful garden. The first, the first morning it happened, of course, nobody saw how it happened or who did it. But, but my wife at the time had gone out and said something had dug up a lot of the lettuce plants and it really just made a big mess in the garden. And the fence is electric wired. It was a, it was a huge chain fence. The, it was made out of anchor chain from a sunken ship and it was each link weighed nine pounds and so the links were like one inch steel links and so the whole chain was the whole fence was like that but it was uh, across the bottom of it to keep other dogs and cats out of the yard was an electric fence and that sucker would throw a huge ass spark that puts you was small enough to run under that fence so the very next morning I Got up, made a cup of coffee, went over, sat at the window, and looked out over the garden, opened the window, and I had my tiny rifle sitting there. And, and all of a sudden, comes streaking under this fence with this little white dog with a little pink ribbon, and saying, there's Poopsie, and she went immediately over to the lettuce and started tunneling into the garden. And so I just shot the little prick. <laughs> Well, I went out and I picked it up and carried it out and I walked up to her house and, and out in front of her house everybody has their garbage cans and I opened her garbage can lids and I dropped poops in. Well, thinking that surely she's going to, you know, next time she dumps a bag of garbage and she's going to see her stupid dog in there. But that morning, you know, uh, uh, she came out of her trailer with her hair in curlers and in her bathrobe. Here, Poopsie, here, Poopsie. Oh, my God, where is my dog? Poopsie! Well, she got all the little neighbor kids, and there was probably 20 of the little burgers running around calling for Poopsie. Poopsie, come here, honey munchkin. And I'm in there thinking, you know, go look in the garbage can. She never did. Poopsie, you better go over here, like, right now. Poopsie! She threw away her trash for the rest of the week, and then that weekend, when Bruce and I went around to collect all the trash in the park, which is what we did. Where is that dog? Oh my God! And took it to the dump. There, we got to finally get rid of Poopsie, and that's that's the exciting story. Jesus.